Moving on to your health this afternoon, atrial fibrillation, often called AFib, most common type of heart arrhythmia when the heart beats too slowly, too quickly, or just in an irregular way. Dr. Alap Shah, an electrophysiologist at the Kansas City Heart Rhythm Institute of the Heart and Vascular Institute at HCA Midwest Health, here to discuss more about AFib. We sure hear these words a lot, but really what is AFib? Why is it so common? So atrial fibrillation is an abnormal heart rhythm of the top chambers of the heart. Normally a heartbeat comes from the top chambers and the top chambers get to squeeze together to push blood forward. But with atrial fibrillation you get electrical chaos in the upper chambers and the upper chambers are just quivering. So it makes the bottom chambers go faster and it makes people feel certain ways. And it tends to be a problem as we age, and so it's very common. About one in 10 people over the age of 80 will have this. But over the age of 65 is the most common age where we see atrial fibrillation. Is it something we need to be worried about? Absolutely. So atrial fibrillation increases your risk of stroke more than fivefold compared to the normal population. So people who have atrial fibrillation, it's very important that you have a discussion with your practitioner about what your risk for stroke is and assess whether or not you need to prevent strokes with blood thinners. Okay, I wanna go on to those treatments here in a minute, but first let's talk about how we would know, just sitting here watching TV right now, how would we know if we have AFib, or is it real obvious? So that's the thing, Carolyn. With atrial fibrillation, some people have dramatic symptoms and can feel their heart racing. Patients will describe it like a fish flopping around in their chest. Ew. Some people will have subtle symptoms where they just feel tired or they can't do the activities that they used to do. Mm -hmm. And there are some patients who have no symptoms at all. So the way an annual physical with your practitioner is important because oftentimes we see people come in and their doctor will listen to them and find this irregular heartbeat and do an EKG to confirm atrial fibrillation. An EKG, very simple test. Yes. Now, not, not hard to ask for, not hard to perform, right? No. So let's say, okay, I've been diagnosed with AFib. It's a scary word. Mm -hmm. What can be done about it? Is it, is it treatable? Yes, yeah, so atrial fibrillation is treatable, and depending on what your symptoms are, what your other medical problems are, you have varying options. You can get medications to slow your heart rate down, you can get medications to keep you out of atrial fibrillation, and then for people who have more severe symptoms, we have procedures like an ablation where we go into the heart and electrically cauterize the areas that are causing atrial fibrillation. You kind of shock the heart in some ways, right? So for some of those people, we do shock their heart into a normal rhythm, but the procedure just electrically cauterizes those problem areas. That oh, that's that's so bizarre to me, but I think it's so interesting to think of, of, of what you do as an electrician almost for the heart, right? Rather than we talk to plumbers about the heart, that has nothing to do with AFib. Mm -hmm. You are strictly the, the electrical side. We are, so mm -hmm. I often refer to myself in social situations of an electrician as you a, do. the heart, so well, you're very correct. It is sure nice to meet you. It is a big scary word. If you have concerns, it's, it's something to talk to your doctor about, no doubt. So for more from HCA Midwest Health, go to kctv5.com slash HCA Midwest.